It's been a while since I last did one of these videos, but I thought I'd talk a bit about some of the AI work that I did a few months ago. My initial pass at the dog's AI was not very interesting. The dogs have a list of stats, hunger, energy, anger, fear. These all change over time and are affected by certain events. The dogs also have a list of possible behaviors to run that affect those same stats, so sleeping gives back energy, eating makes a dog less hungry, biting something helps a dog deal with its anger, etc. Originally, when a dog decided it needed a new behavior to run, it would check to see what possible behaviors were available to it, it would look at how those behaviors would affect its emotional state, and then it would just generally try to pick the best one. This model makes a lot of logical sense, and it was great as a first pass, but there's really not much personality to it, and that was kind of my problem. Ultimately, it would result in dogs leaping between disconnected behaviors in an attempt to optimize their own well-being. Smart and efficient, but really not very interesting or dog-like. So I spent some time thinking about what makes dogs so fun to watch. I tried to think of how I could model their AI so that the dogs felt less mechanical and more like they had their own priorities and agendas, and I also wanted to make sure that those priorities and agendas were easy to understand. The solution I came up with for now is the idea of framing the AI in terms of fixations and distractions. Fixations are the base of the AI system. Dogs have an active fixation at all times. It can change, but there's always something there. At the moment, there are four distinct types of fixations, but it's super easy to add more. There are fixations for objects, locations, other dogs, and for exploration. When a dog needs a new fixation, it queries its own current desires, checks those against its known state of the world it inhabits, and then chooses something. This fixation is the base for the dog's general AI queries until it's replaced. In other words, it represents the dog's current driving motivation. As an example, let's say that a dog has an active fixation with a piece of food. That fixation is now responsible for choosing specific behaviors for the dog to run. As long as the fixation is active, the dog's going to try to choose some behavior that causes it to interact with that piece of food that it's fixated on. The dog's going to obsess over that food until it decides to move on to something new. Instead of bouncing around to optimize their own needs, dogs now trend towards being very single-minded, which is not only way more readable to the player, it also gives the dogs an inherent personality. Of course, fixations by themselves aren't quite enough. I wanted the dogs to feel like they have one-track minds, but at the same time, they do actually need to be able to take care of themselves and show reactions to the world around them. So my solution to this was distractions. Distractions are temporary overrides to fixations. When a distraction is active, it's in charge of determining what behavior the dog needs to run, completely ignoring whatever the underlying fixation might be. The main use case for this is dealing with immediate needs. If a dog is super hungry, for example, it'll get a distraction in charge of dealing with that. It'll go put its previous fixation on hold in order to seek out food. As soon as that distraction is taken care of or goes away, the dog can go back to its previous fixation. But distractions aren't just a survival mechanism, they're also a part of the base dog personality. In addition to getting distracted by immediate needs, dogs also get distracted by a variety of other things. They can get distracted by the player interacting with other objects, they can get distracted by something another dog is doing, causing them to go and try to join in, uh, and they can even get distracted just by being super happy. It's not perfect, and it could definitely change, but it's a behavior model that's so far pretty fun to watch and gives me some built-in room for adding personalities. I haven't gotten to that stuff yet, but you can probably start to imagine how it might work. Dogs with tendencies towards specific fixations, dogs that get distracted more easily than others, dogs that barely get distracted at all, even to the detriment of their own well-being, etc. There's a lot of room to build up this stuff, but I'm very happy with how it's held up so far with just this base implementation. Anyways, that's kind of the rough overview. The project's in sort of a transitional phase right now as I try to drill down and figure out gameplay specifics, but I'd love to have more concrete info to share soon. Hopefully this was interesting, and thanks for watching.